when this first happened, I was sitting up here playing my video game. I had my laptop up. I was watching the stream. This is the first Madden qualifier of the year. So, of course, everyone in the Madden community, if you wasn't there, you was watching the stream live. Just the first to see who all was there and to see what all the new hot plays and new deeds was for the year. So, I'm sitting in the party chat. It's like me and like four other guys from Curly Top, all the guys in my crew, Corey Chapman, Mr. Magic City, Phil Collins. You know, we're all in there. And then we're playing the game and watching the stream at the same time. And all of a sudden you can hear gunshots and stuff going crazy. So they're kind of setting up the game. There isn't really a game going on. And True Boys on stream, along with Joe Rice and Cold and Gucci announcing. And so you hear gunshots and all I can remember is Phil saying, Yo, is this real? Is this real? That sounds like gunshots. Is this real? And then I'm looking at my stream, I'm like, hold on. And then you can hear it, I turn it up, I'm like, yo, there's gunshots. And the first thing I do, I automatically just pull out my phone. Everybody, you can hear everybody pulling out their phone. I'm calling people, Corey's calling people, Top is calling people, no one's answering the phone. And finally I call and Bugs answer the phone. I hear Bugs, he's just panting, he's, <sighs> I'm like, yo, what's going on? He's like, man, they're shooting. They shooting. I'm like, what do you mean? And he's like, man, bread shot up the place. And I'm like, bread shot up the place. He said, yes, bread shot up the place. And so, I said, well, what? What? And the first thing I start asking about my friends that are there, I says, where's Los? He says, Los, all right, he's with me. I said, where's Cole? He said, Cole. He said, man, forgive me, man. He fell. He told me he got hit. He fell. And he said, yeah, I had to keep going. And I said, what? He said, man, I had to keep going. He said, I'm gonna call you back. I gotta call my wife. I said, all right. And so, then I hear Top, Top's calling, and Top gets a hold of, uh, I forgot who he got a hold of, but then Top is getting the same information. Bread has shot up the place. And so, everyone's in a panic, like, I, this, this can't be real, you know? And then the news start coming in, they're like, True Boy is dead, uh, so-and-so's been shot, so-and-so's been shot, uh, um, my man, uh, Spot Me Please is dead. Spot Me Please has a, a wife and kids. True Boy is like, you know, 21, 22 years old. It's like, it's like, this can't be real. And then you find out, like, Guru got shot in the arm. And you're looking on Twitter. And Drini, he just posted, like, man, I got shot in the thumb. He's like, I'm never coming back here. This is crazy. And all of a sudden, it's, it's everything is like a dream. It's like, this ain't real. Cause like the man community is so such a tight knit community. It's like a family. It's a brotherhood. And when this happened, it's like a mass shooting, and it starts popping up on news houses, and then it starts popping up on CNN, and then everyone's calling. And the first thing is, my phone starts blowing off the hook because everyone's thinking I'm either down there playing or announcing. And I thank God really that I wasn't there because it was a rare occasion that I wasn't there than I was there. And only reason why I wasn't there was because my cousin, Mr. Magic City, he said, man, I don't feel like I'm good enough to go. He said, I'm going to skip the first week and we're going to go to the second week in Virginia. I said, okay. I was going to play and go and be tough and all that type of stuff, but I got a call two weeks ago that I was going to be announcing the first major in Las Vegas. So that automatically disqualifies me from playing. So I would, would have just been going just to go and support my cousin. And since he didn't want to go, I was like, well, there's no reason for me to go down there. I'll see him next week. And that's the only reason why I wasn't there. And you to know these guys and to know all these people for 10, 15 years and to see this, their lives get broken up into shambles. And I know guys that work for EA Sports like Justin Chow, RG. RG was in the back of the building, huddled up, hiding. And this guy's like six five, six seven, big guy. I love him to death. That's my brother, the ogre man. And and I'm just over here panicking because I'm calling the RG. I'm calling him. He doesn't answer the phone till like eight o'clock that night. But I realized he was safe because I seen him on uh, one of my buddies' Facetime live. And I said, okay, RG's safe. He's just panicking. So I talked to Chow, which is his brother. I like his brother, and they live together, roommates for years. Both of them work for EA Sports. And Chow's like, RG's just distraught. He's he saw both of their bodies, and that's just an image. He's just shaking. He he can't really talk to nobody. And I finally talked to RG, and I could just hear his voice. He's still shaking. He's like, I don't know what to do. He's like, he don't know what to do. And what makes it 
Well, like, the first thing we're thinking is, okay, well, these days and ages of mass shooting, somebody went crazy. It isn't one of us. And I'm just sitting there praying, like, yo, it's not one of us. It's not a gamer. It's not, it's not a gamer. It's no way. And then to find out, like, it was a gamer. Somebody that has won tournaments before. Somebody that has been. He was with me in Orlando this past year in January when the top 64 players for the club series was in Orlando. Brad was down there. He represented the Buffalo Bills club. He beat Los in the championship in the Buffalo Bills on Twitch, the live stream in Buffalo. He was down there. Of course, when we go to these events, EA wants you to meet all the other gamers because they're getting gamers from all across the United States. And so, you know, we met, we shook hands, and, you, you know, first thing on I met him, I, I said, okay, well, he's a little bit socially awkward, you know. So I'm like, that's, that's fine because you think of gamers, some gamers aren't like you. Some gamers, you know, they, they kind of live in their mom's basement and they don't have the tan because they just sit in there and play games all day. Sometimes it takes that to be good. So you understand. He, you can't be great in every area of your life. So that's what we're thinking. And to think that he, somebody that you met, somebody that you you know, conversated with has the capability of doing it is mind blowing and shocking and the trust is broken between the brotherhood and the family. You know, stuff and like, like this happens and it's a shame that it does happen. And right now, you know, we're just praying for everyone that was involved and everyone in the community and hopefully we'll be able to bounce back like this and not let a tragedy like this destroy what we've built over the years.